<laughs> yes, I'm doing this today. But let's get to the point. This is the first law of motion. An object will not change its motion unless a force is acted upon it. So, this outside force is right here, while the object is at rest. The outside force comes along and moves it, causing it to fly on over there. So, that changes the motion because it was acting on by an outside force. That can also be the case with this crowbar right here. Object is still. This is outside force. And continuing the path, this is the second law of motion. <clears throat> the force on an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. So, 3 times 5 is my example. This cube is 3 pounds, while the other cube is actually 2 pounds. It'll take more force applied to the 3 pound object to move it. So that way, unbalanced forces creates acceleration. So acceleration times mass equals 15. And finally, here's the third and final law of motion. When two objects interact, they apply forces to each other of the equal magnitude in opposite direction. So, the object on the right is exerting an equal force on the object to the left, causing the object to the left to stop in its tracks. That is because it is exerting an opposite force on both ends, causing them to both stop, as seen by the arrows. A bow and arrow is also a great example of all three Newton's law is being used in one single object. Just open this door. No. Hey, bro. Why you ain't accept my friend request, bro? Who you don't want to be my friend? <laughs> <laughs> what? Now it's time for Eric to explain it. Hey, Kate. All right. Right towards the ground with red. All right. Don't do this at home. 